This video will contain spoilers. Viewer discretion is advised. With that warning out of the way, let's do this. I'm gonna show you all the secrets of this game. Let's start with this one. If you type dance, you can dance. You can do this anywhere. And this is the first of hopefully many emotes we can do in the game. Let's head into the sewer. The sewer is a not really a secret area, but you may not think it's an actual area because it doesn't have a portal like they usually do. And there's a big shungus. There are lots of texts on the walls that you can find. I may miss one or two in this video. Here we have TP Pete, and here's another chat command. If you type in more like Poopy Pete, he will drop you a book. However, I think it doesn't work if you already have the book. So this is the skill you get. Toilet paper postage. Stamps giving skin efficiency will give a higher bonus. It's a pretty good one that you get by simply writing the command. And here in this zone is a hidden boss. So this is Dr. Defecus. He jumps around. He's pretty hard to kill. Well, until you can kill him really easily. He also dropped the poopy pickaxe and the stinky axe, which are pretty useless. But they have six upgrade slots, which means you can make them into stat sticks. But that's not really the secret. The secret is up here. Here is a hidden platform. and if you drop a bolt cutter that you can get from the green mushroom at this location, you will cut open these grates here, and then you will have a bunch of boobs. And these are the boobs. I think they are the strongest enemy in World 1. And the crystal that can spawn is really powerful. These gray poopy things. You may notice that there is no enemies here. That's because they don't respawn. Well, they do respawn, but only once per day. At your daily reset, that you can easily check here in the guild tab. Mine is in five hours. If you're not in a guild, you can check it in the shop NPC. You see the shop restocks in five hours here. You found a secret. Hmm, yeah. To the left, to the right. And if you do meals quest, you get the death wish, which is a pretty damn good ring. Here in the frog zone, there is another hidden platform. The main reason for this platform is for a quest. There is a pig called Wellington in World 2 that wants you to find all the hidden platforms. You can also see a red herring here. It used to indicate that it's a dead end, that you got tricked when you're searching for something like conspiracy theory, something like that. If you go here to the second mining area where the iron ore and gold ore is, you stand here next to Matan, you click here in this solid looking area. And you can actually see there is a small cut here. You can also see it in my Ultra Unboxer. It gets swallowed up. What is the meaning of this? Well, if you click here, you can see there is a hidden path. And if you have level 81 mining, you can go in here. Well, actually, you can't go in here because this portal doesn't work. It's a future secret, but it's pretty cool to hang around in here. A boss will spawn here once per hour. Sadly, we just missed it by two minutes. It's the mini boss Baba Yaga. And if you are low level, you can climb these trees to get away, like this, to dodge them. But for me, I don't really care anymore. I just one shot the uh, miniboss, and that's that. And if you go here to the slime zone, there is a hidden zone in this tree here. It's another secret area that doesn't have a portal. And down here at the bottom is another secret area. It doesn't have a glowing indicator like most places have, you know, when you walk away from them. And this is a worship area, acorn assault. You can see this one has a glowing green portal. So you may not know that this bottom portal exists. You can see the other portal also have a glowing green. Here you can see another sign in the bushes. It's a peanut and it's pointing towards this bush here. It's the start of the journeyman quest. Talk to the young old bush, join the club. You drop a peanut at the bush, do his quest, and then you talk to the rock and do his quest. And then you will become a journeyman. But here you can see spikes. What is this, you may ask? Well, if you run over here and into this portal, there was a spike minigame. And we also just missed that, which doesn't matter for you, but more work for me. You can see there's a countdown from 10 to 1 and then 0. Then the next round starts, you get more gems and then the spikes comes and kill you. If you don't want to run that way, you can simply open chat and type in If you love me, let me go. This will teleport you to this area. If you leave here, you return to the same zone you were at. We can show that again by typing it here in the Glublin. And we leave again. We are still at the Glublin. But another thing you can do is go into the gem shop. Then exit the gem shop. Then you will be teleported into town. And here you can see a hidden face in the bushes, in the tree leaves. And here is Amarok. Not really a secret, but it's worth mentioning. Amarok is the first boss you fight. The first time you're fighting, he is very dangerous and pretty damn scary. But now he can't hurt me even if he tries. 
you can see there are star signs everywhere. Like there is one here in World One Town. I'm not going to mention the star signs anymore. They are not really secrets and there are too many of them to point out. But here in World Two, you can go here, stand next to the clown. Then you can see there's a click me in the wall. How strange. Where is the click me sign? You can see once again, my title and name just disappear. How is that possible? Well, if you click here, you will go down and you will find Wallow Piggy. And if you want clues, you have to go to the official YouTube channel because we are not allowed to post about it. You see this broken hourglass? Well, this is actually a place where you can summon a boss. If you have these googly eyes and you drop it here, you will spawn, you will spawn the biggie hours boss. You can see here everything else is frozen. Even this guy is standing completely still. He can't move at all. I think maybe, no, I don't think it affects the player. But you can see the mobs here are frozen. Everything turned dark and bam. And if we continue down, continue moving down, enter this portal down here, there is a bandit Bob. Now you can actually get his cards, money from monsters. You may be wondering, how do you collect cards from an NPC that you don't kill? Well, when you first come to him, you simply go up on this platform, then you go through the dialogue, and then he will drop the cards. It's that simple, pretty much. And then if we go here to the snake yard, and this is another chat command, you type in I'm a total noob. Okay, that is nothing. I'm not sure if this still works, if I'm just too powerful. Either way, I will include a video where I'm using that. And here at the pincer area, you can, if you have good eyes, you can see there's an arrow there, an arrow here, an arrow there, an arrow here, an arrow here, another arrow here, and then finally an arrow here. And then you click there, and bam! Then you can see a small hint here, a bag of peanuts, cactus, hmm, I wonder what it can all mean. Here is another text, Bandit Bob was here. This is a cool little bug here. I think if you do this enough times, you will fall down from the sky. I'm not sure if this works with only one person and you know, and your own screen. So maybe skip that one. So this is the guy that wants you to find the hidden platforms. And if you go here, here's another secret area. If you have a do jet eye and you drop it here, a portal will spawn and you can enter. Now there are two ways to summon the boss. Either you have to be at least three people, one of each class. You can have 10 people here if you want, but you need to have one warrior, one ranger, and one mage. Or you can use this Dutapon. But to get the Dutapon, you have to kill him at least once. But with it, you can summon the boss solo. Let's take off our weapon and then punch him. Oh no, he died. Once you are in here, you can use this to just repeat it. Back in the days, you had to go in and out each time. What the hell, he died again? How many times do I have to teach you this lesson, old man? Stop getting one shot. Oh well, I guess that's not happening. He drops nine gems each time. That's a fixed amount. However, it has been lowered quite a lot. And finally, this is the area where you summon Efont. This is what Efont looks like. You have to go across to the other side to kill the other arms before you can attack the head. Otherwise, he will be shielded. And here we have world three. At the mustachios, there is a hidden portal. Well, not really hidden, but it has a lot more requirements than the other portal. And if you go in here, there are scary looking rams running around. As you can see, they actually damage me. So this is the high level area of world three. You can see the other way continue all the way up to the boss. So these ramps are stronger than the last area here, and we entered it from the stash split. But then there is one more area behind it with even stronger monsters. These respawn a lot slower than the ramps, so they are not as good for XP. 18 million, 21 million. And we get more money here as well. Before World 4 came out, a lot of people spent a very long time in this zone. There are these stone things here that you have to kill to summon a special monster. There we go. The silo bone doesn't seem to drop anything interesting and this card is pretty bad you can summon a mini boss here here is the bucket of slush drop this on the snowy pile in the refrigeration station in world three and then we just drop one here there we go two big guys and he got one shot take this guy out please 
Come on, three shotting. You can only get them once every four days, but if you wait seven days instead, you can get two. You can get that double spawn I got. So I think it's better to wait seven days. And here is the Shiswar zone. Let's do one normal one. Shiswar is a pretty easy boss, but as you can see, if we just stand here a bit, ice will start falling from the sky. And then it gets a shield. Very annoying shield, because you have to go back and destroy these ice balls, which means you cannot auto this fight. I think this got fixed, but hey, it's shield surfing, it's pretty funny, so here it is. And finally, here is a small side area for trapping that you may not realize actually exists. Let's go to World 4. And I don't think there are any secrets in World 4. There is none that I know of, at least, unless you're counting this hidden constellation, D1, which, as I said before, we're not counting the star signs. There is one secret here. If you don't have any radioactive waste, you can simply farm the slime and get toxic sludge. That should also work. And we stand here between, well, the two mushrooms here. We drop a barrel. Hey, hello there. And let's kick their asses. This guy seems to have a bit more HP than the World 3-1. He drops the ladles and eggs. And this guy also resets once every four days. It has the same double spawn after seven days. Right now, I'm only at the Octodon map, so maybe there is a secret in the last two maps that would uh, be very unfortunate. So as we kind of reach the end of the game here, let's go back to the start. In the tutorial, there is a secret. Now, once you have left the tutorial, you can never return. So I will simply show you on a video I already made. A secret stone. Ah, welcome true gamer. You have come back here in hopes of a secret. A wise decision indeed. I haven't much to say personally. Instead, I will let the game's creator Lava Flame 2 speak to you through me. Yo, what up gamer? Happy to see you here. Most people are too dumb boo Maximus to find this little easter egg. But here's the thing. There are two parts to this secret. Bring me a secret stone to prove me that you are truly a high IQ gamer. Let's go. We got the big weapon and we got a secret stone. It's almost as if the very essence of wonder and mystery have been infused into this little stone. Keep this secret to yourself. Don't tell the noobs about it. Yo, what the fuck? You figured it out? Nice, here. Take the reward of absolutely nothing. Although I don't want to leave you empty handed, how about this? I'll mark this quest as completed in your codex after the tutorial as a proof you're a true gamer. Oh, and um, one more thing, yeah? I figure you'll wanna write this down. 36390 blue. Ha ha ha, I, I'm ahead out. See ya. Out, that gave me a headache. I still don't get why a game developer can't just talk to his own gamers directly. Hmm, you're still here. I don't have any more quests to give you. After all, I'm a secret keeper, not a secret giver. And then we can't click on him. So we gain a ton of money from that quest. Well, a ton. You need to get this item, Bag of Nuts, which you get from Goldrick. And to be able to talk with Goldrick, you have to do the quest lines, which pretty much means you just talk with Cowboy Jones here and do what he says. I think you start with doing some quests for him, then you gotta talk with Bandit Bob, do some quests for him, and then you start talking with Goldrick, this guy here, and then you do some quests for him, and then you finally get the item needed to start the Maestro quest. And let's go. We drop it here. Mmm, peanut. Yum, 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 yum. The blob of light snatches the bag of peanuts, takes a look at the bottom left of your screen, then quickly go. Wait, no. He is fellow beginner. Hi, 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 hi. Please come talk with me. Peanuts. And tie a bag too. Yay. Very cool to see a club member. Many rage quit before finding me. I am Maestro Member Cactolite. I am next step to you becoming the bestest beginner to ever begin, ever. As long as Lava doesn't interrupt me, I can give you quest to become a maestro class yourself. Alright, nice, Lava's not around. Let's do this. I am under strict orders from club leader. He tell me to only rank up people who are top skill edge. I'm gonna become a maestro. Hooray, skill master. Do the what the view achievement. And we need to climb the second tallest three in all of Blunder Hills and say great view one star. And there it is. What the view? Yeah, so the tallest one is this giant three here. 
and this is the second tallest one. Let's see if we can do this. Okay, we did it. Oh, we did it! Hooray! Oh man, finally! It took like what, 10 times? 11 maybe? Score a point in the shopping mini game while the leaf is zooming at hyperspeed. Plus one percent arcade ball. Bland dish secret achievement. What exactly were you expecting to cook? An invisible meal? And you get six tab one talent points. So you go here, click new recipe. You remove these guys. So it's empty. And then you click begin recipe. And then we wait. There we go. Bland dish. How to do the level five nothing. Secret achievement. Ah, I see you and you're reading upgrade flavor text as well. You go here into the breeding, the upgrade tab, and then you deselect everything. So nothing is glowing. Then you see here the text tap and upgrade above. Don't listen to that. Also, as a reward for reading this, I'll let you know that upgrading this nothing bonus actually boosts breeding XP gain. Here we go. Interesting. This gray thing covered the uh, achievement. Level five, nothing completed. And Lava is stomping on me. Yeah, he's dropping items now. Oh, I got a candy. These guys, green mushrooms, drop a bolt cutter. It's super rare. I only ever gotten one. Drop it on the ground here. Then this gate here opened up. So he has two quests. One that has, you have to kill uh, 30 of those. And, but also this one, you have to collect bone meal. 777 of it and you get this ring that's a pretty big upgrade compared to the steel bands peanut pioneer secret achievement talk to the jungle bush join the club you drop a peanut at the bush do his quest and then you talk to the rock and do his quest then you will become a journeyman do all the treasure hunts you first need to talk with the npc that's hiding down here wallow piggy then you have to go to the official youtube channel and well look at the videos he made then you do what the videos say and then you just claim the reward from this guy again. I have not done the fourth one. So if you look at the rewards, there are eight steps and you have to dig up a treasure in the end. You get some steamy time candy. You get gold egg capsules that spawns a boss. And a newbie card pack. So the rewards are pretty good. It is easy, but also very hard to get the Bob You Pickle Jar secret achievement. First, you have to buy a Bob You Pickle from the World 2 Town Shop. You can only buy one a day. Then you go over here to the alchemy cauldron and drop it. Like this. And then a dice will roll up here. And you will get a number. If you get 100, you will unlock the pickle jar vial. Which gives you 50% nothing. Though the achievement gives you 1% arcade balls. Lucky sevens. Secret achievement. Punch a monster, win the jackpot. You have to do 777 damage, as you can imagine. This achievement is a lot easier in the start. While this guy can never do 777 damage again. There is a way. Here in dungeon, you go back from the beginning. I have 9 to 34 damage right now. This means there's a high chance for you to be able to do this achievement in the dungeon. I don't have this achievement yet. Because I cannot do 777 damage in the dungeon yet. As you can see, I'm only rank 18. So for the fish ain't biting achievement. You have to miss 100 times in a row, like this. And then you have to catch a fish. I don't have this achievement, so I'm not totally sure if you have to be super exact with the numbers. But my gut feeling tells me that's exactly what you have to do. So if you are at 99 and then catch the fish, then you will fail. And have to restart from the beginning. Just like this. I'm gonna become a maestro. Hooray, skill master. A most nice sale achievement. You have to sell 69 gems to this World 3 Town Store. And you have to sell 69 at once. I have not done this because, well, that's a lot of gems. You have to sell them, dragging them this way, and there we go. Pretend that was 69 gems. The worst part is that this achievement did not work when it first came out. So people sold their gems for nothing. I have a lot of gems right now, but I can't take them out from the gem shop. You have to save 69 gems in an item form. I always just do this way. Bam, add it to my account. 
You put in the ore here, then you put in the oil. Now watch closely here, you see this bar? Take it out. I took it out a bit too soon, but hey, better safe than sorry. And there we go. We got the first copper bar. One thing you can do is to simply bring some stuff with you. Then you can speed through this. Here we go. That's how quick it can go. And I think that's it. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.